it's Chris and this is the first video about my upcoming game Automobile Tycoon. It will be like a development block sort of so a lot of talking about the premise and less about how about the game. So the game was inspired by old games like Detroit and Old Timer. In those games you were running a, a company that produces events and try to sell cars. So as you see we start in the office and well I, I try to maintain the uh, feel of those uh, games back then where you just see other sort of placeholders here where you just can click on several things and uh, well, from there run your company from those this office thing first of all I, I won't be talking a lot about the game more about the what's the difference between games of this genre and automobile tycoon first of all the problems I always notice that those games were dragging a lot uh, well, more like 1000 much more than 1000 tons in um, Detroit so I, I never reached the end of the game so in this game first of all I went for one turn is one quarter so in 400 turns uh, there will be 100 years of automotive industry simulated so the pace is much much higher in addition what I dislike was mm, that there was a lot of micromanagement like there are dozens of uh, regions and you were uh, making those factories setting up production lines on those factories and try to s send those cars or where they were needed to be sold and a lot of effort uh, was for doing boring things instead of focusing on the strategy so here I tried to prevent it first of all we have like we have six regions where you can sell things where you can build offices there and you will try to sell th those cars next there's only one factor I know it's quite controversial design choice but it has several well several advantages first of all it reduces the micromanagement of course but also uh, by focusing on one factory I would be able to simulate it more like there could be like machinery updates you, you would be able to decide what exactly uh, what kind of machines use and get perks for this next you would be able to um, focus your production like here is the efficiency uh, mechanic like if you if you try to build too many different things uh, you will face a penalty so it, it doesn't really it's not necessarily the number of different cars but number of engines if you like have five cars and each of them uses the same engine uh, it's less complex if you make like six cars but each one uh, uses a different engine so so you will be uh, it would be more like um, about like real factory where you could you really care what kind of technology you use and if it's uh, compatible with other technologies you uh, next uh, there won't be like a putting number of people on the line you just it's it's more streamlined 
one of the goals was to streamline the interface and make it more, more smooth like I just try to remove the boring things like for example okay I need to have more cars produced because I entered a new market what could I do well, I could increase the number of people working I could upgrade the line or I could go for overtime more so there are different ways you can uh, may temporarily increase your production or invest in something more permanent uh, what more the distribution distribution will be greatly uh, streamlined to avoid those sending ships uh, sending those cars around all right all right what next okay what next well I think it would be oh as you see there is a lot of placeholder things oh you can check here it's probably one of the last pictures here where you will be able to see those unfinished graphics all right so that's it it's the very first video of the upcoming automobile tycoon uh, i plan to release it somewhere somewhere this year okay thanks